PC Pescatora Mosca back again for two shits to give you phase two of the short line check nymph leader setup that you can do from home and get ready for. Now, what I've done just to speed things up a little bit, which I'm sure you can appreciate, is I've taken some 4X Fluoro. Uh, kind of your choice. I prefer this at this stage anyway. They've been most successful. And I've taken five feet of that 4X Fluoro and I've attached it with a uni knot right onto that tippet ring. As you can see there in the background of my hat. So now I have a five foot section of tippet. Now the one thing that it, the advantage that you have with just this one solid piece of tippet is that it gets down quick when you get that weighted point fly on. Um, I've been using an egg recently only because the browns are starting to run or a stone fly early in the morning, heavy stone fly early in the morning on the point fly all the way down at the very end of this 4X tippet and it just zips right down. gets down quick because you're... Run, you're uh, um, stretches from one point to another are going to be relatively short because you're going to be working those tight runs and deep water and you want it to get down and bounce off the bottom all right so anyway so i got the 4x tippet now the two things that i do the two things that i add when i set this up at home is i'll put two tippet rings on this without cutting it two tippet rings on this without cutting it and uh, they'll be in a position where I can switch out flies rapidly and that's what you want to do you want to get them out quick so we'll go ahead and put two tippet on here one for the bottom dropper and one for the top dropper so the tippet ring you want to put on first is going to be for your top dropper so I usually put, uh, leave about 10, 12 inches for the bottom dropper, and then I go up another foot for the upper dropper. So essentially we have the tippet ring about three feet up the line. So you're going to have your top dropper is going to be high enough so that you can put your... Um, emergers on and then your lower droppers typically for your black beauty or your little nymphs and flies that are floating below closer to the bottom so what you can do one of two things with this is you can either do a uni knot until you get good at that the other thing you can do is just do a clinch and I just do a clinch four times is probably enough since you're it's just going to be a spot in the middle of your line. So we got four and a half loops. Clinch knot does it quick. And of course, the tippet rings are such a pain in the butt to put on in the field that this is why I do it at home. So now we got our clinch knot with a tippet ring. Wet it, tighten it up, and you'll see with the clinch or the the uni knot that you use, it'll grab on one side of the tippet ring. So this is essentially what you're going to see. Let's see if I can do the background of my hat. It'll stick off to one side if you can see that, which is what you want. So then I'll go down and add another tippet ring about 10 or 12 inches above the bottom. And the reason you want to use 10 or 12 inches above the bottom because if you want to switch out your bottom fly with a clinch or whatever several times you can without it affecting the whole rig. So I got that other tippet ring on there. I'm just going to do another clinch here for simplicity's sake.
and since it's in the house, a lot easier than doing this out in the field. Four or five times. Harder to do this in front of a camera. So, essentially what I have is tippet ring, point fly, tippet ring, tippet ring, and then butt leader. This whole thing's about nine or ten feet long. Just not that far off of what your normal um, leader is. Okay. Attaches to your fly line. Your cider will go wherever you want it to go. Up, down. If you see that it moves on you, just pull these two strings and it'll tighten right around that. No matter how wet it is. No matter what. And it's nice and snug. Go exactly where you want to go. Tippet ring, 4X, tippet ring, tippet ring. You'll see that these things are reversed, obviously, because I'm using the selfie mode. Alright, so for my top dropper, I'm going to put a section of 5X, and all you need is about 8 inches tops. You can put that on with a clinch what I usually do is I'll either use the uni or I'll use a modified clinch and that's where you feed that line through the eye of the tip of the uh, tippet ring you twice and you'll have a double loop and then you'll wrap it three times and send it through or you can use your standard clinch knot if you're not comfortable with this hard to do in front of the camera. Really? Once, and then back through again, and then you pinch it. So essentially what you're doing is you're creating a small loop and a big loop. So I have it pinched right there at the tippet ring and you'll see that loop that's fed through twice. So you got that loop and you're just going to do a clinch but you only need to do this three and a half times. So you go one, two, three wraps and then just come through the back and go through both go through both holes so essentially that's what you got right there through both holes and it's just very similar to it's a clinch knot it's just different they don't call it modified it's I don't know what the hell they call it I guess they would call it modified since they have a word, a different clinch knot for improved. I don't like the improved. This knot has been super successful to me. And when you're out in the field, if you can get your flies fed through twice and you get that double loop, it's much faster to get your, especially when your fingers are cold, to get that through. Strong, strong knot.
So essentially what I've got is on the top, I've just put a little tag on the top. And that tag sticks out at right angle and will stay out there. And that's a 5x. And then on the bottom one, I'll use 6x. So I got some Trout Hunter here, which is good. And I'll go ahead and put the 6x for the bottom. And I'm going to do the exact same thing I did on the upper dropper. Through twice. One, two, three, four, well, three, three and a half actually. And then back through both. Pinch and tighten it. So here's your check or Euro Nymph short line setup. Boom. Fly line to the butt, to the fly line of the section. There's your little cider 4x top drop, bottom drop, and bottom fly. These are a little long, but you'll find that the shorter you make this dropper, the less chance that it's going to wrap around. So I would make these about four or five inches long, or start out with six inches long. And if you're going to be switching your fly out, don't worry about getting that as short as you can get to tie it. So even if it's only sticking out just uh, you know three or four inches tops, it's still going to be effective. I landed a 20-inch female rainbow on Cheeseman last week and it was on my bottom fly which I had a, at the time I switched down to 7x but um, it was on my zebra size 24 um, black beauty and it was this exact same rig exact same rig I had a heavy egg on the bottom and this was all 4x but he still took that that little midge off of the side and it was only about sticking out about four inches so now all you do is you got this on your fly, just reel it up right into your deal. And that way when you get out there, then you just pull it through your guides. It'll all go through your guides just fine. Put on your flies a heavy stone fly dropper or an egg. One thing that I've been doing on my eggs... And this is a top secret rig. So this egg here is nothing more than a, just a standard three, I was thinking, what is it, uh, one thirty second jig eagle claw. You can buy these cheap anywhere, Walmart even, I imagine Target, any place they sell fishing stuff, you can find these little jig heads. And this is what you want to keep that from snagging on the bottom. And then what I do is I bend this hook out and then take one of Peter's plastic um, balls and I put that on there. And I also paint this orange with um, some uh, fingernail polish. And I'm sure you you probably have fingernail polish, especially orange fingernail polish, because that's typically the color of the eggs for these brownies. And also I know you have the orange fingernail polish because you're a Bronco fan and you probably paint up your fingernails every time there's a Bronco game. So I've done these two rigs and if you are want to come by and pick them up you can take them with you. I've got my my uh, reels are already rigged up so you can take these rigs with you and do what you want with them. They'll all be all set up for you and I might even give you one or two of these flies to use for your bottom and you'll find that 
they don't get snagged up and they get down quick and they catch fish. Don't forget to push subscribe if you're happy with this video.